Good morning and happy Valentine's Day. I have a question for you. Is there a food that you are afraid to eat? Maybe you might be afraid of a food because of an allergy. Maybe it tastes bad or it's too spicy or maybe you just don't like it. When I was your age, I was often scared to try new types of foods. And to be honest, sometimes I still am. So my mom would explain to me what type of food was on my plate and what it tasted like. Most of the time, after hearing what she had to say, I would try the food. Now, that didn't mean that I liked the food, but it did mean that I stopped being afraid of that food to the point that I could eat it. I ask about being afraid of food because except for the allergy part, food really isn't all that scary. I mean, it's not going to eat you, right? And if you actually eat it, it'll give you energy and help you grow. So we shouldn't be afraid of food, right? Right. And yet some of us, like me, are afraid of foods we haven't had before. Being afraid of something that isn't actually scary reminds me of today's scripture story. In it, we hear that Jesus went up a mountain with a few of his disciples, Peter, James, and John. While he was at the top of the mountain, he spent some time praying. And while he was praying, his clothes became dazzling white, like they were shining. It's almost like he turned into a light bulb. Kind of cool, right? But do you know what the disciples thought about? They were afraid of what was happening. Even though the disciples knew Jesus, once Jesus started to light up, it really scared them. They were so scared by what they were seeing that they didn't know what to say or do. But then a cloud appeared and covered up them. And a voice came from a cloud and said, this is my son whom I love, listen to him. The disciples were reminded by God that even when they were afraid, they were supposed to listen to Jesus. That same reminder is true for us too. Today's story reminds us that when we are frightened or scared, we are to keep listening to what Jesus taught and said. When we do, Jesus' words will help us know how to face our fear and how to act even when we're afraid. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for Jesus who shines with your light and helps us to know what to do, even when we are afraid. Amen.